Hello gorgeous peeps, this is Chris from Techspert and I'm here with the Google Pixel Stand, the official wireless charger for the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL smartphones. I'm going to go through a full unboxing now, get it all set up and show you some of the best new features if you decide to throw 69 quid Google's way come November the 1st when it launches here in the UK. And don't forget for more unboxings and reviews of the latest and greatest tech to ding that notifications bell and poke that subscribe button and all that good stuff, you know the drill. Cheers! Oh, so let's see what we get. So there we go, there is the Pixel Stand itself in all of its glory. Lovely orange base, nice and vibrant. The rest of it, quite a uh, simple, straightforward, subtle white. What else do you get in here then? Let's get started, bit of a quick start guide, obviously. And um, three pin plug and a bit of, I believe, Type-C to Type-C. Yep, I've got so many of these cables now, I've honestly lost count. Pretty decent length of cable. In fact, measuring it on my daughter's handy little height wall chart here, it's exactly one and a half meters, so good bit of length there. Good job, Google. And that is it, basically, in a nutshell, nice and easy. So as you can see there, the cable just slots neatly into the base, like so. And then you have a handy little recess for the cable to reside in. And I'll take the three-pin plug and plug that into the wall. And there you have it. So the Pixel Stand uses the Qi wireless charging standard. So you can actually uh, power up any smartphone that supports Qi wireless charging using the Pixel Stand. However, with the Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL, it'll actually charge a bit quicker. Uh, it's up to 10 watts of wireless charging using the Pixel phones, whereas it's only up to 5 watts using non-Pixel branded phones. Charging pad itself is pretty basic. It's a nice rubbery sort of soft touch to it, so at least it shouldn't scratch up your smartphone or anything like that. Definitely a good thing because the Pixels aren't cheap. And as you can see there, it's just got a ribbed base there as well, just to keep your phone in place while it's charging. Pretty straightforward, simple design. Quite neat though, should go with uh, pretty much any other kind of furniture that you've got knocking around. So I'm just gonna stick the Pixel 3 on there now and hopefully should automatically register. There you go, that it's on the Pixel stand. And as you can see there, it uh, can automatically launch the Assistant while it is charging. As you can see there, you can keep your smartphone unlocked while it is charging, but still have access to some of your main stuff, such as your calendar entries so you see exactly what you got coming up that day. Uh, you can access your email, things like that as well. Right, so the smartphone is now charging. It says uh, down there, hopefully you can make out. Charging rapidly, apparently. We'll see just how rapid it really is. So I drained both the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL, and then in turn, I charged them using the Pixel Stand. Incredibly, they both took almost exactly the same amount of time to fully charge. The Pixel 3 XL took two hours and 13 minutes precisely, and the Pixel 3 was just behind at two hours and 14 minutes. That's with no use throughout, so they were just sat there on the lock screen. When the phone is charging, you can unlock it as normal. As you see, you'll have to enter your pin, unfortunately, because you can't access that rear-mounted fingerprint sensor. That's actually blocked out by the charging dock itself. So you can still use the phone completely as normal while it is charging, no problem. Otherwise, while the smartphone is charging, you can also tap this handy little assistant button down here and it loads up this awesome little dock screen. This just gives you a bunch of pertinent information, as you can see right there. So it tells you current weather, you can set an alarm, read your messages, play some music. It's a nice simple interface just designed to be quickly scrolled through and tapped. So if I had anything left in my calendar, my schedule for the rest of the day, it would pop up right there. So that's nice and easy to see as well. As you can see, you can quickly add an event or a reminder. Let's try playing some music. And there you go, it just plays a random album by the looks of it. Of course, if you want a bit more control than that, you can just ask Google directly. So, uh, play some Ice Nine Kills. There we go. And in this view, you've also got full access to all of your notifications and everything as well. So you've got the, uh, the media controls right there, all of your toggles, and you can see if you've got any new messages or anything as well. If you want to customize the Pixel Stand stuff, you can dive into the settings. You've got a couple of options in there. What you need to do is go to Connected Devices, and then in there, you'll see the Pixel Stand is currently connected, charging the phone. If you just tap the cog icon, you get a couple of little bitch you can do here. You can rename it from Pixel Stand to whatever you want, something rude if that's your bag. And you can also uh, select the option to turn off the display when the ambient light sensor detects that the room is dark. So obviously it's probably going to be night time. You don't want uh, all that stuff sort of flashing in your face or anything. Uh, just have it completely turned off, job done. If you dive into the assistant settings on the Pixel as well, as you can see, you've got a Pixel Stand option in there. That can uh, bring you, as you can see, personal results there. You can also turn on the photo frame on ambient display option. That means that when your phone is locked and it's sat on the Pixel Stand charging up, you can actually display photos right there on the screen. So if we just select some photos, it'll actually go into Google Photos and do that for us. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> nope, doesn't seem like it wants to actually let us do that. Okay, well that's interesting. And of course, you've got all the usual Google Assistant features uh, active as well in this dock mode. So for instance, you get up, you can say, 
Good morning. Not really morning, but there you go. Currently in Orpington, it's 20 and mostly cloudy. The best way to get to work by public transport is to catch 358. So as you can see, she gives you a full rundown of your commute and how knackered you are from rubbish public transport. And all of that, as usual, can be fully customized within the assistance settings in your Android phone. Just go into routines, then as you see there, good morning, five actions currently set up. Uh, so for instance, take, tell me about the weather, my commute, all that kind of shenanigans. So you can get it playing uh, a bit of a podcast action, audio book, something like that instead of the news. It can also hook up to some of your smart home stuff so it can get your coffee brewing, uh, just your thermostat, things like that as well. So because the Google app is in beta mode for all of these stand features, unfortunately there are a couple of bits there, as you can see, which are a bit shonky and don't really work. So if you are thinking of getting the Pixel 3 and maybe stumping up for the stand as well, you might want to maybe wait a little bit until some of those features are properly implemented. So that in a nutshell is basically the Pixel stand and some of those features uh, that you get when you dock the Pixel to charge it up. Is it worth 69 quid? Well, to be honest, there are cheaper Qi chargers out there that will work as well. It might not be quite as rapid as the dedicated Pixel stand, but they'll still do the job if you just want to slap your phone on them overnight and get your Pixel charged up ready for the morning. Definitely be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, so let us know. Are you tempted by the Pixel or do you just think it's a massive rip-off? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to hit subscribe, ding that notifications bell for more hands-on with the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you. Bye.